Hey YouTubers, this is Bob Hickman. It is so good to be back with you. I wanted to say thank you to all of you who came out last night uh, to watch me on the Ghost Girls talk show. I had a great time. We got a lot of your letters in. Thank you so very much. Well, we've still got tons of letters here, so we're going to work on them today. But before we get into these, give me just a moment and let me attune to the spirit world. Okay. My spirit God Fletcher series says hi to all of you. Okay. My first letter tonight is for Jay Birdsley Fleming. Hello, dear. Thanks for writing. Now, listen. I want to tell you, Spirit tells me that you need to go forward on that project. It does look like it will turn successful. But the secret here is for you to write from the heart. Okay? You've got it all up here in the mind. But what makes this project successful is the heart aspect. So I want you to meditate on the heart and write from there. You've got a spirit guide named Omiel, A-O-U-M-I-E-L, around you as a guide as well. And Omiel is going to help this project move along. Okay? So let me know how it goes. But write from the heart. That's the message you need to work with. Okay? Thank you so much. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, Sam Stell, Jess Punk. Hi. Um, you know, let me tell you here, um, 2012 is all about transformation. It's not the end of the world. Uh, you know, we've been seeing a lot of UFO activity. And 2012 is a lot of that's about activity of raising our consciousness. So, um, you know, you might want to pick up my book, which you can get at Amazon.com or at my website. Uh, it's called When Worlds Unite. And that talks about the alien um, you know, interaction that's coming to the earth and more about what's happening in 2012. But it's not anything to be afraid of. It's actually going to be a great time for people to make spiritual things. Okay? Thank you for writing. Country Catch Me. Hi. Uh, you know, first of all, let me tell you, the spirit of the girl that's in your home, her name is Lynn. She's a young girl. Um, and she died, it looks like it was in the 1940s here. But she's not going to hurt you. She's just hanging out. But you want to kind of ask her to go over to the light because she's a bit of an earthbound soul. But don't worry, she'll come back and help you. Okay? Now, um, you know, the thing is I also pick up around you another person. It's a younger male, um, and he's crossed in a car accident. And he keeps telling me, he says, my body is all restored. And what's interesting, he says, they took him out of the body before the accident actually happened. So I don't feel he ever really experienced pain. It was like he went right out of the body. So um, anyways, but he's around you, and he's been giving you signs as well. He talks about a little picture frame. There's a little picture or something in your house about that size, and he keeps moving it. So I want you to watch that, okay? Thank you for writing all right, Tardulas. Hi. Yes. Um, you know, 2012 is also, as I said to the other person, it's about the um, alien contacts. And I do believe as we get to 2012, we will be seeing more of that activity. You know, what we've been seeing with the big UFO sightings over China is only a warm-up. Uh, because I predict as we go through the next year and on into 2012, we're going to see a lot more of that. So it's going to be almost commonplace. And people will start to let go of their fear. You know, because the fact is the aliens are here to help advance us, to help us get beyond our need for violence and war and negativity. And they're trying to teach us a more peaceful way of being. So, uh, you know, I say bring it on. Aliens, come on. We need your help. Thank you so much. And, uh, you know, I'll say Tardolas, I don't know if you've checked out my book, Win Worlds Unite, but that may be helpful for you as well. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, T Randomness 17. Hi. You know, as I step into your vibration, I get a lot of energy here of change, and I feel like the next two years for you are very significant. And I feel that there may be a, some issues around going to a university. And I see something in the south here around you, possibly Georgia or even Tennessee here. Um, and it's interesting because in terms of relationships, I'm going to tell you here, um, keep an eye out because the guy that you have your eye on, 
I think he likes you. But I also see another guy appearing on the scene, somebody you hadn't expected to meet. And he's kind of a shorter guy. He has curly hair, um, very nice, very nice voice about him. And I feel like you're going to be having, um, you know, your chance to say, well, this guy or that guy, okay? Well, we'll see how it goes. But uh, for right now, the guy that uh, has his attention on you, it does look very positive, okay? So keep me posted on how it develops. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, Verme X Sadness. You know, um, the important thing is that you do focus on yourself right now. And that's not selfish, that's self-preserving. Because one of the things that I see is that your relationships have been having struggle because you let people take all your energy. Um, and you've been giving away your power here. And I want you to kind of claim your power back for you. And it's interesting because... Uh, you have a spirit guide around you, and it's Uriel, the archangel. And I keep picking up here also um, that there's some changes coming for you. And it looks like you may be going back to school or doing some further schooling here. But Uriel is helping you do that. And I also pick up around your grandmother here. Excuse me, it's a, it's a great-grandmother on the mother's side who's around you as well. And she says... Get back to school. Get back to school. So I don't know what's going on here. But you may be about to drop out or you haven't finished something. But they want you to do some more schooling here. And I do feel that there will be the funding there for that as well. But Uriel is working with you and the great-grandmother on your mom's side. Okay? So keep working on that self. Thank you so very much. Okay. Let's see here. We've got Meso Notes. Hi. You know, I keep getting around you so many Native American, you know, American Indian spirit guides here around you. And Chief Sitting Bull, who was actually a historic Indian, is one of your spirit people. And I keep hearing him say, I'm making them brave. So you're kind of coming into a period here where you're going to be asserting a lot of self-energy. And I want you to know you don't have to be afraid. I want you to push forward here. Uh, I keep picking up around you improvement in the financial area. And I also feel there could be another issue of schooling here around you as well. But I see money for schooling also available. So this is a transition time. The chief sitting bull is working with you. And he says, I've got a whole tribe with her. So uh, you're surrounded by a lot of people. God bless you. Thank you. Okay, let's see here. We've got um, Amanda Gates, 1988. Hi. Um, you know, I do have a grandmother here around you. Um, and it's interesting. She says, I'm in the light. I crossed into the light. And she wants you to know she's at peace now. She said that she's been visiting you. And now, I also pick up a younger male in the family that she's coming around as well. And she keeps talking to me about you with something about staying in school also. It seems like that you're kind of on the edge about whether to stay with your, your current path. And she says, keep on keeping on, because it looks like things are going to get better there. And I do see, as we get towards December, a greater sense of balance here around you. But she, your grandmother is with you. She's sending you a lot of light and a lot of blessings. She's sending healing energies to you as well. Okay, So you need not fear. You are being blessed by her and you're going to be protected, okay? Thank you so much. My goodness, guys, where does the time go? Listen, thank you for being here at Spirit Channel. I promised you two episodes, so on Friday we will have another Messages from the Spirit World. But keep it here. we got more videos about my trip to Bird Theater, which was a very haunted site, and we'll have some other fun stuff as well. We'll see you soon. Keep it here on Spirit Channel. Blessings to all of you.